the things that women faced previously and then accomplished on top of that to find the strength inside of themselves to keep going and to accomplish things that have really made the world better. It's beyond inspiring. It's necessary. These stories have to be in the history. They have to be in the culture. All of us, everybody needs to hear these stories. My name is Julie Bear, and I tell stories about women. I started telling stories as a, a pathway to understand myself and my life. So I did a play in 1987 in San Francisco called Almost Asleep. And it was the most terrifying experience of my life to opening night because it was about sexual assault. It ended up to be my most successful play. A story that I felt no one would want to hear, that I was ashamed to tell or frightened to tell. People respond because they have the same kinds of fears of telling their own stories. That's the first time I realized that telling a very personal story in the most true way you can, the, the most honest way you can, can have impact in the world to help other people. So Look What She Did is a nonprofit organization that makes short films about women telling stories of amazing women who you've not heard of. And it started like this. I went to jury duty and my friend uh, Jill Klein went to jury duty and we're like, there's a 17 story federal building in downtown Los Angeles named after a woman we've never heard of. Who is Clara Shortridge Fultz? Why have we never heard of her? Obviously she's important. So we look her up and she blows our minds. So here's this young woman in her 20s with five children, a single mother, and this is the 1880s. She's the first female lawyer in California. And Clara realizes what we need in this country is a public defender program. And made this public defender program happen that's still so relevant right now, that's so, as critical and important now as it was 100 years ago. She's a phenomenal person who was more or less left out of history. So Jill and I are saying, if this woman has done this much for our culture and our society, and we don't know anything about her, how many other women are out there that we've never heard about. So we said, we'll just make a film about Clara. We'll film Jill and we'll put it on YouTube. A judge looks at you and says, do you have an attorney? If you don't, one will be appointed to you by the court. That's because of Clara Shortridge Falls. It started to get traction. We had so much fun. We did it again a few months later. We invited more people. It was like our friends. <laughs> so it was like, who, who can come on the weekend and, and be prepared to tell a story? I want to talk to you about Sophia Chang. Today I'm going to talk about Dolores Huerta, Hula Levy, Ida B. Wells, Thelma Johnson Street. Well, the astonishing woman that I've selected is Laurel Birch. You want to hear about her? <laughs> now we've made over 140 films. We have like a science series, we have the politician series, we have black women lead series. We're right now filming our LGBTQ series. We never tell anybody who to talk about. The secret power of these films is the passion of the storyteller. The woman tells you why she's chosen to talk about this woman. She's telling you her own values. She's telling you what's important to her. That's what makes the story stick. There are four of us who founded it together. Jill Klein, Courtney Graham, Farrell Levy. And then we have brought in this amazing team, a full female crew. We've had a steady DP, which is Sevdia Castrati. And she's amazing. And we got Sylvia Hathaway Chavez. The best decision I've ever made for Look What She Did. What makes me so proud of all these stories is how it's connecting with women in particular recognizing their lives, recognizing their struggles, and recognizing their accomplishments. One of the lessons that I think we can all take from these stories is um, you have more power than you think. You have more ability, you have more strength. There's a reserve in these women, there's a reserve in you and me that we don't know about until it's tested. And when it's tested, if, you know, I, I think if we have these stories in mind, it helps us in these difficult moments. Look what she did and what does this mean for what I can do?